Hey everyone, welcome to Adalocado. Today I'm going to show you how you can create a custom multi select field in Adalo using only native components. All right, so let's get started. For this app in particular, what I want to do is show some options to a user, uh, some dessert options, and I want them to be able to choose the ones that they love. But I want them to choose more than one, because let's be honest, we love more than one dessert at a time, right? So in order to set this up in the database, what I've done is added a desserts collection with the default name and also a relationship to users. This is an important piece but because we need to be able to add and record which items the user is selecting. So I've done a many to many relationship. Uh, that way multiple users could select multiple desserts at a time. Next, what I've done is I've designed an inactive and active state. So right here we can see I have a label, I've got the background, and then I have another label and another background that are similar, however, just a little different in color. Because the idea here is all of the desserts are going to have this gray color with the dark text, and then when the user selects them, it's going to switch to this blue background with the white text. Um, now I need to relink some of these things here because I've since changed the list from when I set this up. Um, but essentially what you should do is you should group all of the items that make up your option together. So I have a group for my inactive state and then I have a group for my active state. And those two groups should be touching right up against each other like this. We don't want to have a gap in between them. Um, we're going to make sure that they're nice and snug right there. You can always zoom in a little closer just to make sure that you've got them touching each other. This is going to help with our spacing because we are going to be using conditional visibility here. Next, what you can do with both of those groups selected is make that into a list. I've already done that step, so I have a list here and it's linked to my desserts. Um, now we want to make sure that the labels are linked up. So let me fix those really quick. We'll get the current dessert name on both states. And one important note here is anything we do to the inactive state, we're typically doing something to the active state as well. So uh, next, let's set up some actions. On our inactive group, what we'll want is an action that updates the logged in user. And we'll want to add the current dessert to the logged in user when they tap on the inactive state. Then next, what we want to do is reciprocate that action on the active group. So we're going to update the logged in user and we're going to remove the current dessert. Without this, we would be able to add desserts, but then never change our mind and remove them from the list. By adding this reciprocal action, we can then uh, basically uncheck an item from the options list. Okay, now what we need to do is set up some conditional visibility. So for the inactive group, we're gonna go into change visibility choose sometimes visible, and we're only going to show this when the logged in user's desserts contains the current dessert, or I'm sorry, does not contain the current dessert. This way, the inactive state will be available to switch for the user if it's not active. We'll click done there and do the reciprocal on the active state. So we will choose to make this visible if the logged in user desserts does contain the current dessert. That way, if they've already selected it, it's going to show this blue active state. We can click done on that. And let's hop into preview mode and have a look at this really quick. So we have a list of desserts. You can see they're all the inactive state because conditional visibility is hiding the blue version. And as soon as I tap one of these, I'm updating my user account in real time by adding these desserts. And conditional visibility does the job of updating these so that it looks like I've just changed the state when actually what I've done is switch some of the conditions around by adding these to my profile. So I've selected pie, cobbler, cake, and cookie. And then if I go into the database and look at this record here, we have pie, cobbler, cake, and cookie. 
And that is how you do a custom designed multi-select option list in an Adalo app. Hope this was helpful.